More than 350,000 Americans are receiving hemodialysis for end-stage renal disease. That's kidney failure. Hemodialysis means that we're connected to a dialysis machine as many as three times a week for three to five hours a day, having our blood filtered out into the machine, cleaned, and returned to us. It's an incredibly important option with one major problem, which is the surgical connection where we get dialysis. It's kind of like a four-lane highway, a short circuit that allows blood to come out and be returned to us, develops scarring, narrowings down to one lane. And we spent years trying to keep these bypasses open with costly, invasive, and painful procedures for patients, like balloon angioplasty, stretching them open, using stents, using surgeries, or even radiation. And none of these have worked better than a balloon. The problem with a balloon is we stretch it, and it comes back like a rubber band far too quickly. This new research are the, shows the first results that have shown an advantage over a balloon angioplasty. And this stent graft is a stent which has a unique flared end to it and also a coating that serves as a barrier to prevent that scar tissue from coming back. And what it means to a patient is more efficient dialysis with fewer procedures. Doctor, will I need to see you less often if you do this for me instead of all the other treatments? And the answer is definitively yes. And if you'd like to learn more about kidney disease, a couple of great websites, kidney.org, and more about this specific research at the University of Maryland, umm.edu slash stent, S-T-E-N-T.